RuneScape meant trying to remember old usernames and passwords, to dig up an old account. Undertaking this has confronted me with my early teen self. It's pretty fascinating. I mean, check out the emo style I was apparently into. I now recall that I made all my avatars look like this back then. And there were several accounts I tried to get into which appeared to be banned. Which reminded me that banned accounts were such a big thing back then. It was like there was always the fear of the developer Jagex banning you and you had to be kind of wary. What were we even doing back then? How did I get accounts banned? Did Jagex just have a really loose ban hammer or were we all adept at breaking the rules in some way? I don't know, but it was an interesting time. RuneScape for me was, like for so many others, one of the first tastes of an MMO game, and it was a really amazing taste. It's no wonder it became so popular. It has a seamless open world and pretty open systems. I mean, it's got theme park elements, but it's pretty sandbox. A sandbox made easy and accessible. And I guess that's why there was the capacity for so much player hijinks. The first version of RuneScape launched forever ago, in 2001. And since then it's been enhanced and upgraded and reiterated upon countless times. This is one of the most well-maintained games over a long period of time ever, along with World of Warcraft and EVE Online. It's changed so much in the last 15 years. All kinds of systems have been added, its world has grown enormously, it now has voice acting in places, and the graphics have had major overhauls many times. The latest such overhaul launched just this week. They call it the NXT client. I don't know if you're supposed to say NXT or next. It has no E, so I'm assuming NXT? Anyway, this version makes the game run smoother and utilizes computer hardware better for more detailed visuals and better draw distances. It ain't bad looking. I mean, it looks pretty great with some great water effects and such, but I still wouldn't call the game beautiful necessarily. And despite these extensive improvements, the game is still based around a kinda clunky, old-fashioned point-and-click movement system. You move by clicking on the ground, and then even if your ping be blazing, it feels like a second elapses before your avatar wakes up and gets a move on. You get used to it, but it initially feels pretty unwieldy. In this way, RuneScape has certainly been bested by the likes of Eldevan, which allows the use of WASD controls, and the upcoming Albion Online, which has super smooth point-and-click controls. But in many ways, RuneScape is a clever and densely designed game, a result of existing for many, many years. And it's got some of the best quirkiness around, with all kinds of totally weird and wacky quests. There's PvP too, of course, and some unforgiving free-for-all PvP too, which takes place in an infamous zone called the Wilderness. This used to be a very dangerous place, but judging by the way I just ran through it with no armor on, it seems like it might be a little less crazy these days. And to complete the package, RuneScape has huge crafting systems. It's a really big part of the game. Everyone's crafting. There's a lot more gathering, crafting, and trading in this game than combat. And I gotta mention the music. RuneScape's huge, brilliant soundtrack used to be all MIDI, but now there's a lot of exceptionally high-quality orchestral stuff. The original music by Ian Taylor was indelible, and the new recordings by James Hannigan are irresistible. I mean, the game always had tons of great music, but at this stage, it's ridiculous. Release a complete official album, please. And if you've played the game in the past, there are themes lodged forever deep within your soul. Speaking of the past, Jagex maintains legacy servers for RuneScape. That's right, they have what they call Old School RuneScape, a version of the game from 2007 which they run separately to the main game. It's for those who prefer the good old days. Jagex seem to keep Old School RuneScape well updated and maintained, and to my surprise it still seems to be really popular. Nostalgia is powerful, I suppose. With Blizzard recently shutting down unofficial legacy servers for World of Warcraft, Jagex have been hilariously well placed to take some digs at them. Key to RuneScape's success is that it's one of the most accessible MMOs ever. It's always been free to play with a subscription option, it has worldwide servers, and you can easily hop between them at any time. And the game's playable in a web browser on pretty much any machine, although the best experience now requires the download of a standalone client. 
Today, I find the game surprisingly daunting to get back into though. After so many years, I have no idea what's going on. There's a kajillion new features, and the UI is really full. I don't know if MMOs on the whole have become kind of simpler, or it's just the fact that I'm logging into an old character, or RuneScape has genuinely become a bit of an overwhelming experience. It kind of made me appreciate the serene simplicity of old school RuneScape. I don't want to say the new UI is clunky. It's modern, well designed, and easily customizable, but there's just so much going on that it does seem like it'd take time to grow accustomed to. Jagex have developed and published dozens of other games of various sizes over the years, but so far they've all fallen apart in some way or another. My favourite of these, and possibly just because of its great title, was Stellar Dawn, which was going to be like a science fiction runescape. It was cancelled while still in early development. Jagex are still known solely for runescape. So overall, it's not exactly something I love anymore, but I'll always have huge respect for RuneScape for being quirky and ambitious and a great first MMO for many. The game's very old, but showing no signs of slowing down in the near future. It'll be interesting to see what RuneScape looks like in 5 or 10 years from now. RuneScape in virtual reality? Probably. Well there we are. I'm gonna point and click myself out of here. Be well. Thank you.